Social innovation is important in giving us novel and effective solutions to pressing problems plaguing the world, like poverty, lack of access to education, climate change, unemployment and malnutrition. What is the role of actors, like the government, the private sector and the civil society groups, in driving social innovation and achieving solutions? Back in 1956, K. Kamaraj, the then Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, started the scheme to provide free, freshly cooked and healthy midday meals in public schools to fight illiteracy. This innovation was pioneered to draw students from unprivileged homes to schools while combating hunger and malnutrition. When this scheme was started nearly seven decades ago, it was found that students barely skipped school anymore. Today, around 5 million students in Tamil Nadu are fed every day under this scheme. This model has been replicated across India and is funded by the federal government. Though this social innovation model was started by the government, it needed the support through public donations to remain a success. Taking the example of civil society groups, back in 2008 when people started using social media like Orkut and Facebook, Khan Academy put together a series of free online videos to help students learn math and science better. Today, there are thousands of free and easy to understand educational videos and learning material for school students and teachers. Students without access to education have found a free e-learning platform in Khan Academy and it has also improved the learning capabilities of others. Studies done to record the impact of Khan Academy on learning in students have shown improvement in the results of students. On the corporate side, in 2007, Novartis rolled out its Healthy Family Schemes, a for-profit initiative in India, Kenya, Uganda and Vietnam. Under this scheme, Novartis provided low-income families access to low-cost medications. This corporate social innovation stands out because besides providing access to better healthcare, this initiative employs local women as health educators. These women raise awareness about diseases, timely treatment and preventative measures against common diseases. This initiative has brought direct health benefits to 2.5 million patients across India alone since 2010. The most potent form of social innovation often arises when these actors form partnerships. Take the example of Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance. It's a public-private partnership that works with an alliance of stakeholders. Gavi pools vaccine demand from developing and underdeveloped countries, aggregates funds and works with manufacturers to reduce the cost of vaccines. The participating governments pay a share of the vaccine's cost and this share increases gradually over the years. Private firms and industries contribute by donating millions to the cause annually. Since it was founded in 2000, Gavi has helped vaccinate 822 million children, preventing nearly 14 million deaths. Gavi doesn't stop there. It also invites innovation proposals for challenges faced in making immunization accessible to all, thus paving the path for open innovation towards their goal, making vaccination accessible and affordable. This brings us to the importance of open innovation. The idea that innovative ideas can come from beyond the individuals involved in the innovation process. More information and ideas make for more informed decisions. And when it comes to social innovation, open innovation can bring forth a deluge of ideas for better social impact. Let's recap. Social innovation provides novel and effective solutions to pressing problems like poverty, lack of access to education, climate change, unemployment and malnutrition. Collaboration among actors like the government, the private sector and civil society groups plays a key role in driving social innovation and achieving solutions. Social innovation like that of Gavi is strengthened by strong partnerships among the stakeholders. Innovative ideas can come from beyond the individuals involved in the innovation process. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let us know in the comments what you'd like us to cover next.